to keep the first. <laughs> Who is going to vote on Tuesday, baby? Very good. Very good. Tulsi, I cannot thank you enough. I grew up here. I am working here. Hopefully soon to get married here. There's Patrick over there. Third time's the charm. <laughs> and I'm raising and I'm raising my babies. That's good. And I have learned so many lessons. I've learned some tough lessons in some tough times. Who's been to the Waffle House? Who's, there you go, baby. Who's been to the Waffle House after midnight? Those are my people. Those are my people. I used to stand on a piece of duct tape, a foot wide, and I would yell the cooks in the back how my customers wanted their hash browns, smothered, covered, and chunked. Because it was my parents that said, if you're going to stop going to school, and I dropped out of school at 17, and my parents said, you're going to start going to work. And I learned some very, very tough lessons. But thank God, by the grace of God, I took Tulsi by the Citadel today, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. And me back. We drove around twice. We had a photo for the Padgett Thomas Barracks, but the Citadel changed my life. I learned about having courage. And I learned about the threats on your life when you stand with conviction, when you have a backbone, when people are coming after you from all angles, every single angle, when people are threatening your life and you still stand strong. So being a freshman member of Congress is like being a freshman at the Citadel. This is easy, yeah. right? We can do this. Ain't that tough. I was built for tough, and the Citadel made me tough. Who's a Citadel grad in here? Who we got some Citadel grads? There we go. I do give you your ring, Citadel Mafia. I've learned a lot in my first term in Congress. And one of the things that I learned was how extreme the Democrats have become. Tulsi Gabbard left the Democrat Party because they are extreme. Give it up for that. Yes. Hell yes. Tulsi Gabbard left the Democrat Party because they are so woke. Now, I got to be honest with y'all. I didn't know what woke was until Annie Andrews got into the race. I had no idea. And oh my God, I don't want to go there. Woke is not only do they want to defund the police, they are defunding the police. Woke means open borders, wide open, never going to the border, never helping our Republican and Democrat mayors at the border. Woke is allowing illegal immigrants to vote in our elections. Woke is not protecting our kids. Our kids cannot consent to the things that Annie Andrews wants to do to our children. No. <laughs> but woke means not supporting our military in the way that they should be supported as well. Getting them out of places like Afghanistan safely and securely. Not being in the forever wars for 20 plus years. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't that right, Tulsi? But woke also is protecting all of our children here in the low country. We need people who are going to be strong, who are going to fight for the right things no matter the cost. And I promised when I ran in 2020, and I flipped this seat from someone who was a lap dog for Nancy Pelosi. We won by one point. And this district hadn't gotten any redder, folks. It is more purple today than it has ever been. We won by one single point. And I need your help. Not only do you need to vote, you can vote tomorrow. Or you can vote on Tuesday, but I need you to bring all your friends out to vote. We have to put an end to the extremism and the wokeness that has taken over every faction of this country today. We need to protect the Constitution. And so on Tuesday, we are voting to fund the police with your vote. On Tuesday, we are... We are voting to fund the Border Patrol, who my opponent wants to give us. We are not going to let that happen. On Tuesday, we are voting for, voter, for border security. Absolutely 100%. Paris Island! Paris Island, we're going to save Paris Island, baby. I kept him out of the NDAA last year, and I'm going to keep him out again this year. On Tuesday, we are voting to protect our children. Yes. Absolutely. From the wokeness that is invaded, the schoolrooms, the classrooms, our education, our, our universities, and our college, we're done with this. And on Tuesday, we are voting to protect the low country. So on Tuesday, we are voting to ride that red wave into the 
sunset. We will see y'all there. On Tuesday, we are going to vote to keep the first. Keep the first.